a citizen of Tajikistan who is the father of 11 children and has 30 years of experience as a neurologist, decided to take part in military operations in Ukraine on the side of the Russian army. The man signed a contract with the Russian armed forces for one year, expecting to receive the promised officer rank and cash payments. However, the promises turned out to be false and instead of an officer, he was sent to the front as a private paramedic. A year later, when his contract was about to expire, it turned out that he could not return home. Despite the official end of his contract with the Russian Ministry of Defense, he was not released from the army and moreover, the mercenary was charged with unauthorized abandonment of the unit. Payments of wages were stopped and the man continued to go to the front as a stormtrooper. Ukrainian journalist and blogger Denis Kazansky commented on this situation. Money did not bring happiness to another mercenary. An instructive story for all foreigners. Don't go fight for Russia. You will be screwed, deceived and killed anyway. According to Ukraine's main directorate of intelligence, Russia is engaged in an intensive global recruitment drive to enlist foreign mercenaries from at least 21 countries to fight in its ongoing war against Ukraine. Desperate for more manpower, after losing soldiers in Ukraine, Russia recruits foreign mercenaries or deceives foreign civilians into combat roles by promising well-paid non-combat positions. The recruitment drive extends globally, targeting economically challenged nations like Cuba, Nepal and Central Asian countries as part of Russia's broader effort to bolster its forces. Russian recruiters are primarily targeting migrants and students, utilizing databases of foreign nationals who previously sought employment consultations in Russia. The mercenaries themselves claimed that they had been promised work in logistics and field hospitals but were instead dispatched to the battlefield. Foreign fighters are being used as cannon fodder and there have been multiple instances of Russian commanders forcing foreign units to assault Ukrainian positions without the necessary equipment. Current trends suggest foreign recruitment will continue well into the war's third year. Ukraine's National Resistance Center says Moscow has expanded its efforts into Africa. Speaking out against Israel's ground offensive in southern Lebanon, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan claimed on Tuesday that Israel would set its sights on Turkey next. In a speech marking the opening of parliament following its summer recess, Erdogan criticized both the international community and the Islamic world for failing to stop Israeli operations in Gaza and Lebanon. He vowed to stand strong against Israel and to support Lebanon. The Netanyahu government is dreaming a crude dream that includes Anatolia, Erdogan claimed, referring to a large swathe of Turkey. The place that the Israeli administration will set its sights on after Palestine and Lebanon, with complete religious fanaticism, will be our homeland, he added. No matter what the cost, Turkey will continue to stand against Israel and call on the world to join this honorable stance, he said. Vaad edilmiş topraklar hezeyanıyla hareket eden İsrail yönetiminin tamamen dini bir fanatizm ile Filistin ve Lübnan'dan sonra gözünü dikeceği yer açık söylüyorum. Bizim vatan topraklarımız olacaktır. Karşımızda tüm bölgeyi ateşe atmaya niyetli Netanyahu hükümeti Anadolu'yu da içine alan bir ham hayal kurmakta, Ütopya peşinde koşmakta, bu niyetlerini de çeşitli vesilelerle ifşa etmektedir. Bedeli her ne olursa olsun, Türkiye, İsrail'in karşısında durmaya, dünyayı da bu onurlu duruşa çağırmaya devam edecek. Biz Türkiye ve Türk milleti olarak bu zor günlerinde Lübnanlı kardeşlerimizi asla yalnız bırakmayacak tüm imkanlarımızla kendilerini 
destekleyeceğiz.